Hello viewers, this is Herald Linnea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy XIII. So, now it's time to beam back down to the world. By using the warp device, I can teleport you back down to the surface. I'm worried about Snow. I should go to his palace. You could, but I suggest you visit another city instead. You want me to abandon Snow? Down on the surface, time is stopped for everyone. The palace will still be on high alert. It will be next to impossible to get anywhere close to Snow. You're saying I should let things cool down first. Sounds pretty reasonable. So, let's return to Nova Chrysalia. I'm going to send you to Luxarian. It's the capital of the world. Or, what's left of it anyway. I'll place you inside an inbound train. When the train stops at the station, you can get off with the other passengers. Something has happened in front of the station. All right. Do it. You're surprisingly calm for someone who's about to venture into unknown territory. But you were always brave. Brave? I don't feel brave. I don't feel anything. No worry. No confusion. No fear. That's good. But you still need to stay safe. And off we go. I'll edit out a little bit of that. Arriving on a train. How familiar. It's 9.30 in the evening. And no one bats an eye at her. Here we are at Luxarian. Luxarian, a bustling metropolis, the divine city of light in the Holy Sea of Salvation. It's the last bastion of peace and order in a dying world. Most of the people who live here worship the almighty Benevelza. The city is governed in his name by a powerful religious sect known as the Order of Salvation. God's followers believe in ultimate redemption, and their faith helps keep the fires of hope burning. Is that for Neil? But even in this pious city, a darkness lurks untouched by divine light. A heresy that rejects the teachings of Supreme Benevelza. That is an oracle drive. Another girl. How awful. I bet it's the heretics doing. The Divine City doesn't look so holy now. This was no accident. The girl was left here intentionally. Oh. Ah! Light! There's no need. Just a dummy. Hope, did you see who dropped it? They must still be close. My sensors didn't pick up anything at all. I'm running a search of the city's video database, but I'm coming up blank so far. Doesn't matter. I'll just find out myself. The evil savior will die at the hands of the Shadow Hunter. Luxarian. The Divine City of Light. Is that what they call it? Trouble is, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. Who's this? 
Seems someone is watching her. And we can accept the quest with her faith. We're going to investigate what just happened. The body of a young woman. We need to talk with the Inquisitor. We actually have no choice but to accept this quest. So we just press the square button. It looks like someone's targeting the savior. We're in the North Station Let's Plaza. See if we can find out anything from the crime scene. Actually, it's 2100 hours. Nine o'clock. This is my favorite spot. Hang out here long enough and you get to see all kinds of things. Like those white garbed loonies, for example. The children of Etro are heretics and they don't believe in the Order's teachings. Those Etro fanatics used to keep a low profile, but recently I see them everywhere. The Order's authority isn't what it was. Now those people wander the streets like they own the place. Do you think they know something we don't? Maybe they have a date for the end of the world, who knows? Obtained valuable information. Goody. The Savior's mission is to rescue the souls of people trapped in prisons of pain and suffering. By forming a bond with them, you can lead their souls to salvation. So let's leap up here. Let's see what's in this chest, or this treasure ball. We get a fighter's emblem. Strength by 15%. I guess I'll give her Dark Muse outfit the Blaze Fire Saber and the Savior outfit. I'll give it the overture, I think. Well, let's talk with this guy. For your safety and security, the public safety office of the Order The same of people who killed the girl the brought that dummy here. It's important evidence. Don't the touch it. The victim had rose-colored hair, and the wig on that dummy was of the same color. The killers appear to believe that the evil savior will take the form of a young woman with rose-colored hair. Everything points to this being the work of those heretics, children of Etro. But why are they so sure what the savior will look like? Could it have something to do with that oracle drive they had? That was a valuable witness statement. I'm pretty sure the Inquisitor can use the information. Interesting. The Inquisitor has been dispatched by the Order. He might know more about what's going on. Try talking to him. No, this gentleman has a quest. It's not like him to be late. But what if... No, no, couldn't be that. Something wrong? Not about those murders, is it? God, no. At least I hope not. You see, it's the end of my shift, and I'm waiting for my replacement, but he, he hasn't shown. He's been late before, but never as bad as this. You're starting to worry, right? He likes to make out he's a tough guy, but he isn't at all, frankly. His name's Holmes. If you run into him, do me a favor, will you? Tell him Thornton's worried and needs to go home. Where are you, Holmes? We have to complete this quest by 6 a.m. And if we don't, I believe we fail this quest. Fortunately, it's not very difficult. Alright, 
If I see anyone in uniform wandering around where they're not supposed to be, I'll talk to them. Yep, there will be plenty of side quests in this game. try to be doing as many of those as possible because they help lightning gain Aradia to boost the world's time and they also boost her stats HP, strength and magic and those who have quests have stars beneath their names And we need to find Thornton's colleague Holmes. What's this glowing stuff over here? It might be a clue. A flyer written in the Etro alphabet. The evil savior will die at the hands of the Shadow Hunter. These fanatics sure don't seem to like the savior much, do they? The Inquisitor will definitely be very interested in this information. Why not talk to a few more people? Hello, outfitters. Good heavens. This has become quite the predicament. Those messages say that the Shadow Hunter will kill the Savior. Sounds pretty, I don't know, prophetic, right? If you believe what you hear around town, it seems that the children of Etro have an Oracle Drive. That's a rare thing. They say Oracle Drives are mysterious devices that can let you see the very future. The Heretic's prophecy. I can't even imagine what it must show. But apparently it's enough to drive them to murder. That's vital information. Good work, Light. At this rate, you'll solve the murder in no time. Now to chat with the innkeeper. The savior will die at the hands of the Shadow Hunter. It's certainly an arresting statement. I'd heard of the Shadow Hunter once before, from a guest that was staying here at the hotel. The same guest told me he's the head of that band of fanatics. But I don't know who he really is, or was. At any rate, it's hardly surprising that people think those Etro fanatics are behind this recent string of murders. But is this man they call the Shadow Hunter the one pulling their strings? Good question. Is he really directing them? I'm pretty sure the Inquisitor can use the information. Or are they doing this, this on their own initiative? Out. No one's allowed past without permission. Light, the Inquisitor has been dispatched by the Order. He might know more about what's going on. Try talking to him. Come back here. Wait, wait a minute. I don't know anything about the Shadow Hunter, I swear to God. I didn't mention any Shadow Hunter, but thanks for the tip. Who is he? Don't tell me you don't know about the Shadow Hunter. Lord of Luxurian Shadow World, hero to the little folk, king of the Warren. Although it's not like I've actually met him myself. Yeah, sure, so I told everyone the Hunter and I are close, but come on, it was just talk. I never thought anything like this would happen. Damn it, I know I shouldn't have been bragging about how me and the Shadow Hunter were best pals. What if the elders believed I'm in tight with a savior murdering nut job? I saw you coming and I got scared. I figured you were with them, you know, the Inquisitors. In future, That's keep your I'm mouth afraid. shut. Good work, Light. At this rate, you'll solve the murder in no time.
Ah, oh, here is Holmes. You work at the station, don't you? Your fellow attendants worried about you. My... Oh no, is it time for my shift already? I completely lost track of time. Look, can I trust you? I saw who did it. Y you know, the people who threw the dummy off the clock tower? I got scared, so I've been laying low. I can't go to the station. That's where they'll look for me. You were there? What did you see exactly? You have to tell me. I don't have to do anything. But if you can protect me from those people and get me to the station, I'll tell you all about it. Get me to the station, and then I'll talk. So, we have to escort him to the station. We'd have to simply walk there. Alright, Holmes, come along. This is the savior's job. The order is in charge of the investigation. Escorting Talk frightened to the to see what the current station attendants is. to the station. The order operates the regional transportation system. It's the city's lifeblood. The trains stopping at this station carry people and bring goods from Usnod. It might be worth checking out this area. Do you see any suspicious employees or passengers? Well, here's your buddy, Thornton. Holmes, you're safe. I was so worried about you, I could barely concentrate on my duties. Sorry, boss. I saw what happened over where they found the girl. I guess I just panicked. I don't know why I got so scared. I'm sorry I let you down. It won't happen again. Never mind. I'm just glad to see you're safe. Guess I never told you. Well... Years ago, one of my colleagues was killed by a monster. I was... I was afraid the same thing had happened to you. I panicked and asked this lady for help. I can't believe no one told me that when I took this job. But anyway, sorry for the trouble, boss. From now on, I swear to you, I'm never going to be late. I mean, what if your heart gave out or something with worry? Can't have that on my conscience. A true friend that cares. Maybe that's enough to save us all. So, quest complete. We get 300 gil, rail workers cap, rail workers beret, and we get some boosts to HP and strength. Well, a deal's a deal. You got me here safe and sound, and so I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw. It was the children of Etro. They tossed the dummy off the tower. I really wanted to tell the Inquisitors what I saw. Honestly, I did. But I was afraid those heretics might find out and make me their next victim. Well, thank you, Holmes. For your safety and security, uh, I always said those people would cause trouble, and I was right. Every night I can see them, those weirdos in their white cloaks sneaking around the streets. Whenever I see White, I think, ugh, heretic. If there's one thing I know, that wicked shadow hunter, he's the ringleader of the heretics. Those fanatics are growing bold. Nowadays, there's always a gang of them in the plaza in front of the station. It's as if they are meeting to go someplace else. Ugh, speaking of which, it's usually around this time they start to show up. A gang of fanatics that meets in front of the station to go somewhere else. Interesting. No one, absolutely no one doubts that the people behind the killings are those heretics. The Order is conducting its inquisitions based on that assumption. The Etro fanatics who worship the Goddess of Death are all over the place. Just look for the sinister groups huddled together, dressed head to toe in white. It may mean nothing, but some people have witnessed the Etro heretics using the public phone near the graveyard. Furtive conversations in the streets, prowling the city at night. It makes you wonder what they're up to. 
Yes, indeed. Using a phone in the graveyard. Interesting place for a public phone. Light, the Inquisitor has been dispatched by the Order. He might know more about what's going on. Try talking to him. No trains are scheduled. Days, the Etro fanatics, those unspeakable heretics who reject the order, have been gathering brazenly on street corners. They're a sinister bunch, clad in stark white cloaks. I just overheard one of them say something very interesting. It went something like, If we kill the Savior, the prophecy will come true. Now, all the victims to date have been women. Could there be a connection? Are they trying to hunt the Savior? I wonder if I should tell the Inquisitor this information. It might be important. Yes, it sounds important. I can't leave. Hold on, hold on. We need to solve this case quickly. Luxarian is the city of divine light, yet it has seen the murder of three girls in three days. The people seem to be growing fearful. If you find out anything at all, I'd be anxious to hear it. There are similarities among the victims. They have all been young women, and all of them had rose-colored hair. Yes, just the same shade as yours. You may also become a target of the killers. I urge you to be careful. Well, thank you, Inquisitor. If you know Inquisitor. anything about the case, I'd be glad to hear it. The Goddess's disciples are beginning to gather. If you lift the blockades around this area, there's a good chance they'll start to move out. You're suggesting I let them go? Hmm. It's not a bad idea. Yes, yes, I'll give the order and we'll see where the heretics lead us. We've managed to find some eyewitnesses, and we think we know who it was that strung the dummy from the tower. Let me guess. The children of Etro, right? Ah, you have your own sources, I see. In recent weeks, the heretics have become more visible on the streets of our holy city. The poor, benighted fools don't believe in God's salvation. Clearly, their despair has led them to carry out these wanton acts. If only they would open their eyes, embrace God, and they could bathe in the pure light of His almighty grace. Can't they see that their souls would be liberated in the new world? The irony of it all is that their fanatical rejection of the Savior has only made my own faith that much stronger. Although, perhaps that is the work of the Savior herself. If you think your faith will save you, then go ahead. Believe all you want. And that concludes our se first quest. We get 800 Gil Scholar's Glasses and boosts to HP, strength, and magic. Now that the lockdown is over, the shops in the North Station area are open again. We can buy some recovery items and garb and adornments. Might be worth looking around. And we now have the EP ability Chronostasis. It is a special spell to control time and space. It will stop the world's time for a brief period. Very, very useful. And although time has stopped, people will still go about their business. Uh, 
However, resting at the inn and riding the monorail will cause the effects of chronostasis to end. It also costs EP, so it can't be used over and over. Lightning. The Savior can use God's own holy power. With it, you can even manipulate the flow of time. How can anyone control time? With a special ability called chronostasis, it has limits, but you can slow time. It's just one of the miracles brought about by God's great might. But be warned, you cannot use it again and again. Only use it when it will count the most. Here is Chocolina. Hi, I sense you want to talk about something. Ask away. Is it about this message board or something more important, like my beauty regimen? I want to talk to you. I think that you have it backwards. Oh, don't be such a silly Sahagan. Everyone wants to talk to me, especially since I've been put in charge of this. The message board? It's not just an ordinary message board. It's called the Canvas of Prayers, and it's magical. An ancient spell has been cast on it, and now it can show people's hopes and dreams. For example, you know how people wish on stars, or by throwing coins into a fountain? I know you've done it too, even though you'd never admit it. This board collects prayers from all over the world, from all sorts of people, and makes them appear as words. You mean anyone can come here and read them? Just you. It's written in a mythical language. To anyone other than yourself, it looks like a jumble of nonsense. So, this is the canvas of prayers. It is one of the means of selecting quests. There are quests that you accept from the canvas of prayers, and there are quests that you accept by talking to people. Just two different types of quests. Some of the Canvas of Prayers quests are global, which means they can be accepted from anywhere. And in Luxarian, we have a north and south message board, and trains now, in the north and south of the it. city. Why don't you take a look? See if you can't read everyone's humble little wishes. So, we have three quests off the bat. Revenge is sweet. This lady wants some niblet hairballs from niblets. And this one is Gift of Gratitude. This one wants some tattered leather to r repair her stuffed moogle. His or her. And inventive seamstress. This one wants three liquid glass from Meonictons. Already. The green is so calming, and the people there are so friendly, unlike some of the folks around here. But if you go at night, be careful. Dangerous Choco Boco! It sure has been a long time, hasn't it, Lightning? How do you know my name? I don't think we've met. What? Don't tell me you don't remember Chocolina! Oh, duh, of course you wouldn't. Let's just say that I gave your sister a helping hand during her journey a long, long time ago. You helped Sarah on her journey? I hope I don't offend you, but you're not entirely human, are you? No, sadly, in my true form, I'm not nearly as drop-dead gorgeous. But I am on your side. I'm here to help, like I did for your sister. I don't even know you. How do I know you're not lying to me? 
Well, you're just going to have to try. Ooh, I know! I can tell you all about me and my past until I convince you I'm a friend. It all started back when... Wait, never mind. I trust you, you're on my side. Please, stop talking. <laughs> well, anyway, in the next episode, we'll continue our adventures in Luxarian. This is Herotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.